Hey, what's up? It's Billy with Wild Reef Keeper, and today I'm gonna to talk about some not so fun stuff with the tank. So, I had some tissue necrosis on a Ganiopora, and what happened was I ended up cutting it into different pieces. So that is what I was able to salvage. This was pretty hard for me because that particular piece I've had for like five years, and um, it was the size of a baseball. So now I am realizing that the tissue necrosis has spread to another um, colony here. So let me show you what's going on in the tank. Um, this is the sick rack. So this is the sick rack here. It's not sick actually, everything, most there looks good. But this is where it spread to. So what I did was run these in a KFC dip. Um, I dipped the frags after I fragged them. I dipped anything that looked affected, um, the new colony that's affected, I dipped yesterday. Today I'm gonna frag um, the colony that's affected and try to eradicate, get as much of this out as I can. And then I'm going to do a dose for Vibrio in the tank because I believe anytime there's necrosis or brown jelly disease, uh, Vibrio can be a factor. So I'll get into that um, after I frag this stuff up. All right, so I'm all set up to do um, my fragging. I have this Griffin Diamond Band Saw I bought from Bulk Reef Supply. I love this thing, I've used it a few times now. Um, and it is the most delicate way to cut coral rather than fragging with something, say this bone cutter here. So I've got my corals ready to go. Um, I've got my supplies on hand. Um, when running the diamond blade saw, I'll speak to that for a second. I just use RO water. Some people have said, oh, use salt water, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know what's in the salt water. I mean, we know there's bacterium and different things in the water. I like to use RO water because it's clean. You can put some iodine in it. I then dip my coral after I cut it. Um, right now, because of the coral necrosis, it's going to be like a very long KFC dip. And then I'm probably gonna stick it in some revive um, and then put it back in, in the tank. Uh, when I do that, the last step of that dip process after the revive is going to be hydrogen peroxide solution. And I will be using tank water for those two dips. So here I go. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut what I needed to cut and frag from the Ganiopora. Since that was sick, um, I went ahead and disinfected my machine, replaced the water. Um, this is all clean because I have to cut this euphelia right here. Um, this one, not so much. I'm just moving it at the same time. But these two, I'm going to separate so that they can grow um, a little better there. This one's splitting as well. So those colonies are going to get uh, pretty big. Um, my goal is to grow them about twice the size of what they are. Um, this one's splitting very nice, you can see. So, um, oh, a little bit in the process there, or it might be part of the split. I, either way, I'm gonna go ahead and um, cut these now. Okay, so I'm back up by the tank. Um, I have my Ganiopora sitting um, in the KFC book. So this is my setup with the theater and um, we want to make sure water was running the oxygen bowl or to the air stone. Um, these are just dipping in, you know, manually just do this. I'm not going to stay in there for five or 10 minutes, probably closer to five. Um, and that is a cap full of restore and 10 drops of lubles. 
um, in about just under a gallon of water. So that's pretty concentrated for that. In five minutes, um, I'm going to take those and then plant them in the tank and just stir it gently um, while they're waiting there. So that is how I cut my coral. Um, I love that uh, griffin saw. That is the best way by far to cut the coral. It does not damage or uh, destroy any heads. There's no splintering. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to splash that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you're notified of future content from my channel. And uh, thanks for loving the wreath.